back to another video. So today I've got myself one of these. It's one of the, you know, like the Gelex and the Apre. I think Beatles have just done one of these as well. It's gel tips and they come with a little mini lamp and this base gel to glue them on. Um, I have done Lazy Girl method, things like that. And I did buy some Gelex dupes from AliExpress a few months ago and used them with base coat, but I've never actually had a proper a proper kit. So this is the brand Gel Light, which is EC Cosmetics. That's all the contact details there. Now, one thing I didn't know about this brand, I've got a couple of gel polish sets from this brand. And look, the raw material is made in Germany. We all love a bit of German engineering, don't we? But the actual formula is made in USA. It's just packaged in People's Republic, China. So yeah, the formula is made in USA and the raw material is made in Germany. So I really like that. I like these this brand even more now. So I've not even opened this. So I'm going to get it open with you guys and we'll see what's in it. I'll leave a picture up on the screen. It's off Amazon. Right, so I even like the little gold tape that's branded. I love good packaging. Oh, smiley face. So let's see what we get. So you get your little thing that tells you how they are applied. Measurement note. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that. So you can write your sizes. I like that. I've never seen that. Never. So we've got that. Then we've got three in one nail glue gel. Organic, scentless, nine free formula, guys. Cruelty free, paraben free. Oh, look, all these little extra touches. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. It's got the ingredients. Right, let's have a look at this. Right, so it's quite thick. Quite thick. It's not like, it's not as thick as Builder in a Bottle. But it's thick-ish. Right, then we've got a little mini lamp. Oh, this is so posh. So it's got a little on-off button there. And it's got three little lights underneath. This is so cute. Right, let's have a look at the tips. So these are soft gel tips. Are they cuffing or are they stiletto? Because it's got a picture of both. Or maybe it's got both. It has, it's got both, yes. Right, so these are cuffing and they don't look too long either, guys. They don't look too long. So this is number six and they're etched. They're already etched. Brilliant. I'm loving this little kit already. Oh, look, that's number six. They're not too long at all. They're a really good length. And they're etched, can you see? They're etched already inside, so you wouldn't need to do that. Oh, they're so soft and thin. I love them, I love them, I love them, I love them. Right, let's have a look at the stiletto ones quickly. Oh, these are a beautiful shape as well. They're more like pointed almond, aren't they? I love that shape. And they're really short and pre-buffed, pre-etched. They're beautiful. I really like them, guys. 240 pieces, 12 sizes, coffin and almond. Right, brilliant. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get this hand filed off and we're going to give this kit a little go. Right, so I've filed this hand off. I'll do this one off camera later or tomorrow. Um, I don't mind showing you how I file and shape my nails using an e-file. 
but I'm really not comfortable showing anyone how to file down to your natural nails. I'm still a complete beginner when it comes to the e-file. And yeah, if there's any beginners watching me, yeah, I don't want to be showing you how. I'm nowhere near qualified enough to tell you how to file down <laughs> to your natural nails. Um, I normally just file down to the base coat and once I feel like I've hit that base coat, I'll use a hand file to get the rest of it off. And can you see this red mark on my natural nail there? That is where I've over filed because it burnt so yeah <laughs> um i'm not going to be doing videos showing you how to do that because i am dangerous with an e-file anyway let's get on with it i've already got rid of all the dead skin around my cuticles i've done all that prep everything off camera if you want to know how to prep your nails properly for this kind of application there's hundreds of videos on youtube i really would advise going watch watching one of them Especially if you want your nails to stay on. So, now my nails are all prepped and ready to go. I am just going to buff the shiny surface off again. Very lightly, you don't want to be filing off layers of your natural nail. Just really lightly buff off the shiny surface. That's all you need to do. Then I normally use a little stiff brush with a bit of alcohol and I just scrub all that dust off. So I'm going to be using these Vanalisa nail prep and dehydrator. The dehydrator says it's for acrylic and UV gels and the primer is for UV gels only. And since I've been, I've been using these for months and I have never ever had a nail pop off, never not even one i've had nails snap <laughs> but that's nothing to do with these yeah i've never had a nail pop off so they seem to work on me so i'm just going to use the dehydrator and i'm just going to give my nails a good coating of the dehydrator and then the primer just a little bit of primer you don't want to douse your nails with the primer like you did with the dehydrator. You just need a little bit of the primer. Right, so this three in one nail glue gel, I don't know if this is kind of a base coat. I don't know whether to do a layer of that as a base coat. It just says apply the nail glue on the nails. Um right just to protect my natural nails for when i'm filing these off and because i'm not sure if that's a base coat as well i don't know guys anyway i'm going to give myself a coat of this moravan base coat this base coat came with a gel another gel set that i've got so yeah very very thin layer i'm gonna do a very thin layer Yeah, I'm pretty sure this could be used as a base coat, but because I can't find it anywhere on the instructions or the website, I'm just using one that I know is an actual base coat, but I'll try and find out anyway. Right, I've already got my sizes out. I'm just going to do one, maybe two with you. Obviously, they're all going to be the same. So I've chose to go with the little short stiletto kind of pointed almond so apply the nail glue gel onto the nail so I don't put it on the tip I put it onto the nail so this is a pinky so I'm just going to put a small amount it's quite a thick gel Right, so let's get my lamp ready. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest my pinky on this other finger just so I can push up. Um, <laughs> right, let's turn this lamp on. Look, guys, isn't it cute? Let's turn that lamp on. Right, so I'm going to put it on at my cuticle at an angle like that. And then I'm just going to press it down. Make sure there's no air bubbles in it. And then I'm going to hold it under there. Right, I'm going to stick that in my big lamp now for a full cure. It's straight. I've got a little bit... Oh, I've got a tiny bubble. Oh well, let's get it cured. Right, let's get this next one done. Yeah, can you see it, the cuticle area there? I've got a teeny weeny little bubble. I'm going to be painting over these so it doesn't really matter, but... Yeah, right, let's do one more with yous. And then I'll do the rest off camera. So... I'm going to paint my nail with the glue. Maybe I need a little bit more glue, maybe. I don't know. Right, let's try that. I've put a little bit more glue on this one. Turn my lamp on. So again, I want to make sure this is straight. The nails are so short, there's not much to hold on to. And hold it under. I've got some leaked out of that, I can see it. But I suppose we can use the e-file to get that off. Sorry I'm a bit out of shot, guys. <laughs> you can just about see what I'm doing. To bring you in a bit. Oh, I think I can see a bubble in this one as well. I don't think I'm pressing down hard enough. Yeah, the cuticle area again there. Can you see slightly around the cuticle area? There's no bubbles anywhere else though. It's just that cuticle area, isn't it? Right, I'm going to get the rest of these done off camera. Oh, they're really cute and straight. How easy was that? I know I've got a little bit of bubble there, but how easy was that, guys? Right, I'm going to get the rest of these done and I'll be back. Right, guys, that is them all on. I've got them all on straight first time. But it's just that cuticle area. Bubbles. That one's not so bad. Um, again, I've got bubble on my thumb. But um, for my first attempt, I don't think that's too bad. I love the shape. Really cute and short. I'm just going to use a hand file. And can you see these little bits down the edges that have leaked out a little bit? I'm just going to use a hand file. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to go down the sides of them like this just to get them little them little bits that have leaked out right that's them all filed and buffed I don't think they're too bad obviously I've got the couple of air bubbles but I don't think they're too bad at all. Can I just say as well, I was reading these wrongs. I was going from that one to that one. When it's not, it's there to there. Apply the nail glue onto the nails like I did. But then it tells you to apply it inside the gel tip as well, which I didn't. So maybe that's why I've got bubbles at the cuticle area. Because I didn't apply it inside the tip. So I'll know next time to do it like that. Um... But I like them. I really, really like them. And it was so quick and so easy. So now we need to get these decorated. Right, guys. For today, I'm just going to give them a quick coat of my favourite nude pink. Madame Glam Rosy Nude. I have got a design in mind that I want to do on these. But, yeah, I just haven't got time today. So I'm just going to give them a quick coat of this Rosy Nude. It's a beautiful colour. I love it.
All right, quick top coat. Right guys, that's them finished for today. I really, really like them. I really like, I just, I just like how quick and easy they are. So quick, so easy. And that's the first time I've done that. So I would imagine if once you've done it a few times, you'll have it down, won't you? Perfect. I mean, look at that pinky. I've cut my cuticle a bit, but it's perfect. It really is. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Um... I am going to do a design on these in my next video. But yeah, I, I really like the shape of them. I like the shape of them a lot. But anyway, guys, that is it for today. If you've got any tips or anything you can help me with, please let me know. I'd appreciate it. But yeah, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Hit your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And hopefully I'll see you all back in the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye.